Hey everyone, Jayro Lights here. 90 years, Zippo has produced over 600 million Zippos. That means that there are so many different themes and designs that collectors can collect from. In this video, we are going to go over 10 Zippos that every collector should consider collecting. So stick around. This is Jayro Lights. So before we begin, I want to have a little disclaimer on this video. I understand Zippos can get expensive. So when we go over this list, we're going to stick to what may be a little bit more affordable to collectors. Also, I understand Zippo collecting is subjective. A lot of collectors just have preferences when collecting. Some may stick to a certain theme and that's it. And that's perfectly all right. But if you collect Zippos in a general sense, these are, in my opinion, Zippos that you should have. The first one would be a 1933 replica. They have a first and second release replica. And I think this is a must have for anyone's collection because this is this is what the first Zippo looked like. I would love to have an original 1933 Zippo, but you're talking thousands of dollars and I don't have that kind of money to drop on a Zippo. The 1933 replicas are affordable. I think I got this for about 75 US dollars. They can go cheaper, they can go a little bit more expensive, but I think this is a perfect start to anybody's collection is to have a Zippo that looks like the ones that first came off the line in 1933. When it comes to collecting, it can get extremely personal, and I think that is a great start for your collection. For example, it can be your first Zippo. This is my first Zippo. I started collecting in 2009 and this was the first Zippo I walked into a local shop and got me this Zippo. If you don't have your first Zippo, maybe something more personal like the state that you're from. This is Mississippi state flag. So this one is uh, personal for me. Maybe a birthday Zippo. That's the year that you were born or the month in the year that you were born. So that would be a great start to a collection is your first Zippo or uh, anything that is personal and special to you. When I was getting ideas for this video, I reached out to many collectors asking them what their top five must have Zippos were and almost every single one of them said a World War II Black Crackle. Now I understand a World War II Black Crackle is extremely expensive, but I think a replica will do just fine. This is a 1941 Black Crackle replica, has the four barrel hinge, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hole insert. I think this is a great addition to anybody's collection. If you can't get that Black Crackle, which I don't have a Black Crackle, uh, original Black Crackle in my collection yet, I think that replica will do just fine. Now going off those replicas, I think an honorable mention would be that 1935 outside hinge replica. Kind of throwing it in the same group as that 1941 replica because we all know those original outside hinge 1935 Zippos are going to be extremely expensive. So I think having a outside hinge replica 1935 is more than reasonable. Uh, and I think every collector should have some sort of a replica, whether it's a vintage look, 1935 replica, or 1941 replica in their collection. Over the years, the majority of Zippos have been chrome-plated brass. However, Zippo has made their Zippos in different materials, from copper, steel, to sterling silver, to gold. And I think having a variety, or at least one of each, would be phenomenal to have in your collection. But some of them can get very expensive, like the sterling silver, the titanium, the gold, those can get extremely expensive. So I think having at least a copper or even a steel would be a great addition to anyone's collection just to show that variety of different style cases and materials that Zippo used to make their lighters in Zippo history. Here's a Zippo I think every collector should at least have one of, and that's a Canada Zippo, a Zippo that was made in that Niagara Falls plant 
in Canada. Whether it's a vintage, whether it's an early 2001 before they closed that plant, I think having a Canadian Zippo is extremely awesome. Uh, really, really cool to have in your collection is a Canadian Zippo. I think something neat for each collector to have is the different style boxes that Zippo came out with from whether it's from the 70s or the late 60s or the 80s. Maybe it's a 50 slim box. Maybe it's a candy red stripe box. Any earlier, you're talking hundreds of dollars for a box. It might not be reasonable for a lot of collectors. This is the earliest style box that I have. But any opportunity that I have to add a different style box, I try to take. Uh, try to take to uh, just build that collection of history from Zippo. Another Zippo I think everyone should at least have one of is table lighters. Whether it's a Barcroft or Handy Light, maybe it's a Lady Barbara or another variation of a table lighter, I think these are awesome. These are the only two table lighters I have, the Barcroft and the Handy Light. I would love more, but they do tend to get a little bit expensive. I think having at least one in my collection, it shows the, the variety and the diversity that Zippo has had uh, when it comes to those windproof lighters. 1992 Zippo started their collectibles of the year. And I think that's a great way to get a collection started is through some of the collectibles that Zippo comes out with. Maybe you're just a vintage collector and that's perfectly fine. But I do think Zippo has come out with some really neat collectible of the years and other designs uh, that I think will really spark any collection. Now, most recently, a design style that has taken the collector community by storm has been the 540. The 540s is Zippo's latest design process, and I think they've come out with some really great Zippos from the last couple of years since they started this process. And I think if you're getting into Zippo collecting, if you're starting Zippo collecting, finding a Zippo that's a 540 design is a great start. And I think everyone should have a 540 in their collection just because it kind of, it signifies that next step for Zippo and how they really connect to that consumer with a really neat looking Zippo with a really durable design style. And they just look slick. They feel good. They sound good like all Zippos do. But I think this is a great addition to any collection, any of those 540 designs. And last but not least, a Zippo that every collector should have in their collection, a Jero Light Zippo. For more information, email me at jerolights at gmail.com to get your very own Jero Lights lighter. Uh, but that that is it. In all seriousness, that is it. I think every Zippo that has been talked about today would be a great start for any collector or a great way to continue growing your collection. I know there's a lot of collectors out there who do have a certain theme that they stick by, but I think if you enjoy collecting Zippos in general, these are at least 10 lighters that I think you should have or consider having in your collection. Maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. Let me know in the comments on what your top five or top 10 Zippos that you think every collector should have in their collection. I'd love to see what y'all have and what y'all think about. Let me know in the comments. This is J-Row Lights. We'll see you on the next one.